Previously on the Amazing Race and All, 11 real phony teams set off on a crazy race around the phony world. Eight teams started shooting the breeze, and only three remained. I'm kind of lying. They really were shooting the breeze. Anyway, these morons named Hamlet and Ophelia started pretty much strong, but they really are morons, and have been one of the first teams to the pit stop since the beginning. It kills me. And these other phonies, Catherine and Heathcliff, they are real crazy. You've never seen anyone crazy in your life. Anyway, they got off to a rough start, but they're still sort of fierce competitors and all. As for Snowden and Kid Samson, well, they got here somehow. It makes me real depressed to see them. It really does. Anyway, coming up tonight, one of these three teams will win the million dollar prize in this amazing race for phonies. It makes me real blue. I mean, this sort of is a madman to show. It really is. In 1905, Packington was filled with the stench of farm animals, the sight of smoke from smokestacks, and gruesome guts from gloomy slaughterhouse killings. I hate farm animals. I really do. They make me depressed when they're dead. This is the 11th stop in the race around the phony world. Hamlet and Ophelia, the morons who hate it when you call them morons, well, they were first to arrive at the last pit stop, and they will sort of depart first at 8.30 a.m. Fair Ophelia, listen closely. It is time for a... Meat packing adventure! Phony teams must now make their way through a depressing meat packing factory. This kills me. It really does. Anyway, their next clue awaits them at the end. To win or not to win? That is the question. Very true. We are far superior to the Hoi Polloi. Our victory is imminent! Silence, woman! We are wasting precious time with this confessional. I'm so cold. Is it warm where we're going? Oh, this is Kid Sampson. He doesn't talk much. Ew, it's dirty in here. Teams must now make their way to the capital of phonies, New York, where the next clue awaits. I mean it. I really do. Taxi, I hail thee! Taxi! 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 Oh, out of the way, you foolish woman! Chopper! You sit in the back! Alas, a roadblock! In 1948, a popular but now dead salesman, Willie Loman, believed in a superficial understanding of the American dream. He was a moron, too. So anyway, one member from each team must successfully sell a box of 1,369 light bulbs to one house. It kills me. What is it? Fair day to you, good sir. I'm not entirely sure what these class contraptions are, but perhaps you would like to purchase one. Bah humbug! I'm not giving you my money! Wait a minute. These remind me of money. I'll take them! Here's your payment of a penny! Oh, I picked some flowers! Oui. My goodness, you are hideous! Even Heathcliff is more handsome than you! Hollywood, Ronser! Don't waste my time, foul beast, and buy these contraptions! I cannot live without my love! My life! I'm coming, Catherine!
We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. What is it? I'm in um, the middle of something. Will you buy these light bulbs? By the pricking of my thumb. Something wicked this way comes. I'm, I'm really cold. Can you please just buy them? If thou wilt leave. I have no use for worldly possessions such as money. Teams must now make their way to that West Egg, New York, where a bunch of phonies live. There the final pit stop awaits them. It really does. Situated at the end of a phony East Egg dock, the green light often represents the hopes and dreams for the future. Anyway, this is the final stop for this season, and the team to reach this pier first wins this The Madman Amazing Race. Teams sort of cross the river on a real shabby boat to win, but they better hope they aren't hallucinating under the heat of the sun or something, because a menacing, threatening phony may be lurking close by. Victory is within our grasp! Hark! I hear the cry of a feral beast! I've never seen such a ghastly creature! Oh, spare my life! Herophilia! Look out! She is drowning! Fear not, maiden! I shall save thee! Although, perhaps it would be better to stay in the boat and continue to <laughs> Why are you so high? Anyway, one of these three teams tonight will dang it. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what these glass contraptions are, but a chance you wish to purchase them. What? Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've never seen such a ghastly monster! Oh, spare my life! <laughs> 